Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got several recalls here that I'm going to put into one video. So the information on each will be short, but you can look it up easily enough, okay? I'll tell you the products, okay, and how to look it up. All right, this first one, food recall is at express.co.uk. Type in the words, no, what am I accepting? We and our partners store and or access information on a device such as cookies. Of course, they all want you to accept your cookies. All right, which I thought, well, my first time my, my stepson told me he was going to fix Pawpaw's cookies, get Pawpaw's cookies out of his computer, I thought, Tell him to stop eating cookies over his computer. That's not good for his computer. And he laughed and he said, No, ma'am. Uh, I forget what he called me. It wasn't mom. Anyway, he said, No, he. <laughs> they're not really cookies. That's just what they're called. There's something you have to clear out every now and then. I have this device called, what is this device? Cl cleaner, it's a CC, C cleaner, anyway, whatever. This first one is from Express. Food recall, little, spelled L-I-D-L, -L, urgently recalls food sweetener over undeclared substance. Okay, what'd they do? Put rat poisoner in our sweetener? How could they? LDL has urgently recalled food sweetener over an undeclared substance. In the sweetener. Customers should not eat this product and return it to the stores. Okay, what's it called? The affected, oh my gosh. The newest one everybody's buying, Stevia, the affected Cologran Stevia sweetener tablets are being recalled from all little GB stores. That sounds like GB. Oh, it's not great. It's not dollar. I was thinking Dollar General. <laughs> No, that's not it. Um, what did I miss? There's so many commercials. Okay, I read that part. Uh, that's an ad. The Food Standards Agency, FSA, has listed a recall for a certain batch of Littles, GB's, Sweetener, tablets because of a substance inside that is not mentioned on the label. This could be a potential health risk. Customers who have this item should return it to the store it was purchased from for a full refund. Okay, so you got that one? Go to X www.express.co.uk and type in food recall colon little urgently recalls food sweetener over undeclared substance. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay, I have to click on the link. This is about a high chair, so mamas with babies, listen up. You may have one. This is another one from Express. Okay, let's see, when was it put out? There wasn't a date on the other one. There's no date on this one. 
Again, it's www.express.co.uk. These may be only found in Europe. I don't know. Argos urgently recall Kugel, spelled C-U-G-G-L, high chair, after terrifying safety features. Well, it looks safe enough to me. It says, Argos have recalled an item for children over fears for safety. Those who have bought the Argos Kugel Little Sheep Deluxe, Plum Deluxe, or Pumpkin Deluxe High Chair should be returned to the stores immediately by Emily Hodge, Hodgkin, published Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Updated 2215, Tuesday, October 6, 2020. There is an issue with the backrest of the Argos Kugel Little Sheep Deluxe Plum Deluxe or Pumpkin Deluxe High Chairs. The problem could cause babies to fall out of the high chair. Okay, so that's all I see about it. So we'll move on to the next one. Another salmonella problem from Food Safety News. Black fungus, dried fungus. That's what they call mushrooms in some places. Salmonella patient count up as outbreak traced to wood ear mushrooms continues. See, I did one report on these, and now it continues. By Coral Beach on October 6, 2020. Somebody's name is Coral Beach? Wow, their parents must have really loved the Caribbean waters or something like that. Coral Beach. Anyway, federal officials continue to report new illnesses in a 10-state salmonella outbreak linked to imported contaminated woody or mushrooms, also known as Kikarage. Kikarage. <laughs> um, sorry, Lord. Kikir. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's what it sounds like. K I K U R. A G E, kick your age. How about that? Let's kick our ages to the curb and become like, I don't know, 30 again? Yeah, let's do that. Or black fungus. So it's kick your age or black fungus. Officials reported yesterday there have been 43 patients confirmed in the outbreak up from 41 in previous reports. Okay, so there's two more people got it. If only they could be so truthful in the COVID pandemic. Right, people? From the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's epidemiologists, and investigators at the Food and Drug Administration. No one has died, as far as agency authorities know. Four outbreak patients have been admitted to hospitals. All right, if you want to read any more, you can read it at Food Safety News. That's www.foodsafetynews.com. Type in the title. Uh, which is salmonella patient count up as outbreak traced to wood ear mushrooms continues. Okay, they got two more patients. Okay, so I guess they needed to tell us that. Now, here's a here, here here's the one that caught my eye the most. 
We call on apples, watermelon, and other fruit hits two stores, including Walmart. Let's see what, which Walmart. We call on apples, watermelon, and other fruits hits two stores, including Walmart. Sliced fruit sold at Walmart and other locations is being recalled due to listeria. Now they're showing, oh, okay, I see. These are fresh fruits that are chunked up or sliced up. They're put in a container and they're put on a shelf. To me, they look canned. But now I see that the container goes, you know, a little... Anyway, on October 1st, Country Fresh. Again, Country Fresh. Y'all better wash your hands and stop cutting up our fruit with dirty hands that got listeria on them. Country Fresh launched a recall on sliced watermelon. It was chunked watermelon really, due to the potential for listeria monocytogens contamination. That recall has since been expanded to include cut or sliced apples, grapes, mangoes, pineapples, and cantaloupe. I say wash it and pray over it. I would. Maybe not the watermelon. It's too absorbent. The Food and Drug Administration discovered listeria monocytogens contamination on country fresh equipment during an inspection, according to the FDA announcement. Yes, sure. According to FDA, they want us to send back all the food we do have and then there won't be any to buy in its place. Well, maybe there will. But still, I got to look that up. Just how deadly is Listeria? Listeria monocytogens. Hold on a minute. File, new tab. Listeria monocytogens. A gram-positive bacteria, now this is not a virus, in the division Firmicutes, named after John Lister, its ability to grow at temperatures as low as zero degrees Celsius permits multiplication at typical refrigeration temperatures greatly increasing its ability to evade control in human foodstuffs. Okay. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, muscle aches, nausea, and diarrhea. So, uh, you let it go long enough, it could kill you. You, you can die of dehydration. Okay? So, um, the Walmart, the watermelon recall was for items sent directly to Walmart and racetrack locations in Arkansas, Illinois, Oklahoma, and Texas. The expanded recall impacts items sent only to Walmart stores in Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Louisiana, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. Hmm. Okay. Strange. Importantly, to date, there are no reported cases of illness leaked to these foods. To date, there are no reported cases of illnesses. In other words, they found some listeria on their equipment. Probably cutting those things you pull down and you cut and you cut and you cut. And you cut. Okay. 
like I said, I'd wash it off, pray over it, and eat it. You want to take your food away, then it's, you're going to get one for free. I'd call the store and ask them, you going to give me one for free? Maybe they will. Okay, that's all I have. I think that was the last one. Yeah. Thank you, Tessa, for these links, and she also sent me several for batteries, and somehow I missed a free one with a recalled, recalled my kind of battery. Uh, nobody told me. Nope, nobody told me. My battery was, uh, could, anyway, something about this particular time period that these were made it was causing the batteries to die too fast I kind of thought it was too fast but I'm too late I don't get a free one but that's okay Walmart has them cheap cheap I said cheap 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 so I'm not paying twice as much Best Buy or somewhere else although I will check Best Buy I haven't checked them yet okay with that I say I'm out I'll put the links in the description box. Okay, bye.